So I came outside to record this one because it had to be recorded in the sunshine. And here I discover some very strange insect buzzing rather loudly and I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it. It actually just stopped. I've lived here for eight years and I've never heard this particular noise before so I'm not sure what it is but it, it stopped so I, I don't know. <laughs> so just a note on the, on the background noise <laughs> if you can hear that. Um, this is a message from the Syrian High Council but more specifically this is from the goddess Parvati. The goddess Parvati. I'm really excited to finally be recording this because I channeled this several weeks ago and it was just never time to to record it and to post it. So I had been laying in bed tuning into the Syrian High Council, the 10D Syrian High Council, and but in the back of my mind I kept thinking about Parvati. She was just on my mind that day, just thinking about Parvati, and then suddenly she was there. She just came forward out of the vortex of the Syrian High Council. And um, it's interesting, her, I see the Syrians really as like a blue and silver energy, always, always, always blue and silver, but Parvati, uh, and I see the Syrians also as more of a masculine influence, but Parvati is feminine, and she's actually kind of the color of this shirt, which I just bought and didn't realize that it was connected to her, it, kind of like um, a pinkish tinged orange, and she just bursted from the Syrian vortex and was kind of just there, like her energy was just there. And that was really cool. And there's more to her consciousness than just this aspect of her, but this particular message, and there's going to be a second one as well, came through from the aspect of her consciousness that is part of the 10D Syrian High Council, but there is more to her than only that. So here we go, I guess. <laughs> So she says, there is no need to think of me as a goddess unless you can remember that we are the same. I'm a person just like you and you are a goddess just like me. We invite you to set aside your ideas of what humanity will look like in a higher vibrational state. Those of you who resonate as citizens of the galaxy hold vibrational memories from memory different from many different civilizations that have gone through a major shift in consciousness. You remember what those civilizations are, were, like. You remember unity. You remember peace. You remember sameness. These memories are accurate and they serve you well because they remind you of how wonderful materialized civilizations can be. However, these memories also limit your ability to imagine humanity's future. Humanity is capable of going so far beyond anything your galaxy and even your universe has ever seen. You are meant to spiral out and shatter the envelope. You respectfully look up to the many wise and compassionate civilizations that seek to connect with you and teach you. However, the apprentice is meant to overtake the master. This is the way of growth. Do not struggle to replicate what has already been experienced in other solar systems. I repeat, do not struggle to replicate what has already been experienced in other solar systems. Do not be limited by what others have done before you. Humanity has struggled, but it has not because of any lack or flaw. But it has not struggled because of any innate lack or flaw. Humanity has struggled and occasionally appeared to misstep only because of the challenges inherent in the energies of your birth. You have survived and you are thriving despite it all, and you have been precisely prepared to become something that no one in your physical galaxy expects. You are not meant to all, ag all agree. You are not meant to become the same. You are the most stunningly diverse group consciousness in your galaxy, and within yourselves you will create, discover, an entirely new way of being a mature civilization. You will figure out how to accept, utilize, and celebrate all of your far-flung parts. Your path involves uniqueness, unpredictability, and idiosyncratic elements. As each human individuates to their full ability, the shape and form of the human collective identity will naturally fall into place. We can see your trajectories and potentials, but we cannot see exactly what you will do in your next vibrational wave. 
Everything is always shifting and your future possibilities expand exponentially with every breath that every human takes. You are still creating, discovering new futures. You will continuously create, discover new futures and those futures include possibilities never before explored in this universe. We want to see you surprise the entire universe with your awesomeness. We want to see you become the embodiment of your wildest fantasies. To that end, we invite you to drop your memories, limiting beliefs, and preconceived ideas. We invite you to dream big and shatter the mold that was never capable of containing you. We are here with you in love. And we are here with you always.